hello and welcome back to my uh, video tutorial on vector so um, in this tutorial we'll be looking at another question based on vector proof and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to prove that the diagonals of rectangle that are equal so here we can see that AC and BD they are the diagonals of rectangle ABCD so since ABCD is uh, the rectangle we taken we know that all angles of uh, the rectangle or corners of the rectangles that are equal to 90 degree and also what we know is the opposite sides of rectangle they are they are equal here yeah. the opposite sides the magnitude of opposite sides they are equal and parallel as well so ad vector ad is same as vector BC and vector DC is same as vector AB also since the angle is 90 we can further analyze the question uh, further analyze this diagram by saying that uh, vector AB and the dot product here the dot product of vector AB and vector BC since these two vectors they are perpendicular the dot products must be zero and similarly the dot product of vector BA and AD so BA dot AD is should equal to zero uh, but you cannot take BA and DA you should move uh, towards the same direction from B to A and then A to D so the angle made by uh, vector BA and AD they are 90 degrees and the dot product must be equal to zero yeah. now we should uh, we should just use uh, a rule called triangle law of vector addition I hope you are familiar uh, so here I'll take diagonal AC and uh, diagonal AC so moving from point A to C is same as moving from point A to B and then B to C so here is our direction so vector AC is equal to vector AB plus vector BC now this is from our triangle law vector addition now I'll just square on both sides so squaring both sides what we get is AC squared square root of vector AC is equal to square root of vector AB plus BC so since we know that uh, while squaring a vector the uh, the direction they just get cancelled out so we have just uh, the square of magnitude because the direction the meaning of direction gets nullified if we just square a vector and here a b plus b c squared we should apply the formula for a plus b whole squared so it is equal to a squared plus 2 a b so this is a this is b plus b squared so a c squared is equal to uh, here since the square of vector we have just the the square of magnitude so a b squared plus twice a b dot b c we can see that uh, a b and b c they are uh, the perpendicular vectors and their dot product mm, should be equal to zero so i'll just write this term at zero and here we have b c squared so this will be our first equation similarly i'll take uh, another diagonal b d so diagonal PD moving from point B to D is same as moving from point B to A and then A to D. So I can write BA plus AD and again I'll square on the both sides. So squaring both sides we have BD square is equal to BA plus AD and then the whole square. So BD square I can simply write the magnitude of BD and then square. Uh, B A square I'll again use the formula for a plus B whole squared so a squared plus 2 a and 
b plus b squared. So b g squared is equal to, so here we have the square of vectors. So once again, we have to write the square of magnitude or square of sides of b a. And since again, b a and a d, they are perpendicular vectors and the dot product it is simply equal to zero and a d squared. So this will be our second equation. Now, if we take a look at our second equation, we have bd squared is equal to, so ba squared, squared of ba, and squared of ab, it means the same. So for ba squared, I can write ab squared, and ad squared is same as bc squared, since the magnitude, the length, the opposite side of rectangle, they are same. So for uh, AD, for uh, the length of side AD, I can write the length of side BC since they have same magnitude. So this will be our new revised equation second. And if we compare equation first and second, so here is our equation first and here is our new equation two. We can see that AB squared plus BC squared on right hand side and AB squared plus BC squared on right hand side. So the term on left hand side uh, should also be equal. So AC squared should be equal to BD squared. I can simply get rid of this squared and write AC is equal to BD. So we already know that AC and BD, they are the diagonals of rectangle ABCD and they have the same magnitude. What we can say is the diagonals of rectangle are equal. So uh, we have proved this question. I hope it is clear to you and thanks for watching.